school in London has lost a High Court challenge against its ban on prayer rituals by pupils during school time. The school was taken to court by the girl over the policy, which she argued was discriminatory. Head teacher Catherine Bourbon Singh said the ruling was a victory for all schools. And it's opened the debate. Um, that's incredibly interesting because it, it is a debate. It's one that people are talking about, like we said, it's in all of the papers today. Should we be moving towards schools that just are faith-free entirely, Judy? Because we know, sadly, the state of the world at the minute, and when you boil down, religion seems to be at the epicentre yeah. of most, mm. most wars. Um, yeah. Where are we at at Which the minute with, with sending our children to school? I mean, I'm really com conflicted by this because... I kind of understand that the school actually put that in place before, so the parent had a choice whether to send their child to a school that is of faith or to that, a school that is, you know, um, secular. So I think that is something that the, the family has to take into consideration. However, I just worry regards to that if it becomes a thing that at any stage a school can just change uh, how, you know, their narrative around religion, then it might be discriminatory to certain groups who are quite religious. And I think about the school where it's placed. If it's in a community where there's a high percentage of Muslim families and maybe that was a school that is doing best when it comes to outstanding in Ofsted or anything like that, then maybe it will restrict those particular children with a religious faith lifestyle to only go to schools that maybe are not doing as well. So I think there's, there's so many other layers underneath it. But, I, yes, I understand that that was the school's rules and maybe uh, the family should have thought about that, but I'm just concerned about the bigger implications that it could have as well. Mm -hmm. mm. But, again, that there is something to be said, surely, to have a school that religion isn't the centre mm, of the I curriculum, so. the centre of what their day-to-day -day schooling life mm. is. You go to school, you meet people from all walks of life, all different faiths yeah. and creeds and heritage, and you just go to school with them. Which They're is what I think it should together. be about. I think it should be, you know, schooling should be about everybody being there or whoever's there to just learn to accept everybody for whatever they are and teach kids about kindness and we're no different and to learn and <laughs> to enjoy each other and not be, have that in between them. And I, and I agree with you, you know, I said earlier, if you know that that is the rule of that school and you don't like it, then you don't send your, your child there. That's your choice. <laughs> you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, equally, there are some schools that are better than others. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I'm, I was brought up Catholic. I was never a practising Catholic, but I was brought up Catholic and... I wanted Kira to go into mm. Catholic school and because it was a really good school, yeah. you know, so I took the measures to get her into that school. Mm -hmm. But um, I'd have equally been as happy if the school was doing great and there was no religion involved, yeah. mm. you know. Um, I mean, they did say, like, the school head teacher, like we said, Catherine Bourbon saying, um, has welcomed this judgment as a victory for all schools and said they should not be forced to change because one pupil feels like something doesn't fit for mm -hmm. them. And schools are a difficult place to navigate for, for pupils, but also for the teachers yeah. and the head teachers. It's very difficult to keep everybody happy all mm. of the time. We know that, Brenda. Yeah, and so that I guess that makes sense. If you, you, you have religion that... religion in, it's, it's yeah, it, clearly... Yeah, and so you have that blanket rule for everybody. It's one, you know, one rule for you, one rule for everybody else. But for, for myself, it was, um, you know, I was raised Pentecostal. Um, and schools now, they don't, I don't think they necessarily concentrate on religious studies. It was actually called religious studies and we, we had the option to take that. And, you know, as much as I say that I went to church every day, I didn't force that onto my children. I'm wondering how much of this is the parents' rules that they're enforcing onto the child. Mm -hmm. um, and the, it's the parent who wants to put their child into this school for whatever reason. And then the child has to uphold... Um, you know, the family traditions and everything, mm -hmm. which makes it hard for the child. But I think you should just be able to have that choice. And, you know, if you if there is a, a thing about the prayers and things, maybe compromise and find another place yeah, that's yeah. not in front of everybody to make that f mm -hmm. other people, other children feel awkward about mm. um, whatever. So, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think what's hard is that... Where do you draw the line between um, impacting school and impacting someone's lifestyle choices? You know, I think that's where I'm like, OK, that is their religion. Uh, that is, you know, mm -hmm. it's a culture thing, it's a religion, that's what they... And the school has their own culture. Where do we draw the line? And as the head teacher said, it's a win for all schools. So mm -hmm. is this something that's going to filter out 
to many more schools. Yeah, and um, just just to place sort of the counter argument to this, um, the court had been told that the pupil was making a modest request for permission to pray for around five minutes at lunchtime on dates when faith rules required it. It wasn't during lessons. Mm. Um, so that, that was their argument and you understand it. But it's like we say, if it's very kind of hardcore stated rules on the onset of signing up at the school and you sort of know what it is, you're in a very difficult position then yeah. to try to change that because yeah. then the school change might... Because you change it for one, it's, 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 it it's, it's so difficult and sadly it comes back to should our schools be faith free in mm. many respects and, and only a third of our schools actually are kind of religious faith based, two thirds are not in yeah. fact. So. Um, yeah, it's an interesting one, but one that people take into consideration when they're sending their child is a big decision, mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. yeah.